Let's come to the talk for today. And uh, I wanted to share, see the idea, the main thing I want to tell you about, about the way I work is, I don't like to talk theory. I don't like to talk big, big rocket science things. I like to talk about practicality. I want to talk about things that you can do in your practice. Because I am one of you. Because I have seen what it takes. And I have experienced it right from scratch. I have started my practice on scratch. My first clinic was in a garage. People who know me will tell you. I have started practice in a garage where, where people put their cars. I changed that and started my practice there. In my college time, my practice was in trains. I used to go in trains. You, anyone in my, in my college will tell you. In, my, in the trains, I used to sit in the trains and whoever would cough, I would give them spongier. I would go in buses and take history of people sitting next to me. Everyone in the college, hospital, the nurses, the watchmen, the security guard, they would take treatment from me, even if they were big, big names. So I, I'm, I'm a person from ground. I'm a person of grassroots. So I know what it takes. I know the problem that we face. And that's why I train my own self in such a way from all the masters so that I can develop this technique where all of you can do it. This has always been the passion and this is what I wanted to do. So the main thing that I observed about um, acutes, mm. and this is very important, especially in acutes more than chronic, is is the importance of is the importance of observations. I think we don't we we underestimate the importance of observations. What do you mean by observations? It means it means what in acutes? It's less about asking questions. It's more about seeing. It's more about seeing in the patient. What do I mean by this? You have to learn to be a clinician, a homeopathic clinician. And this is where I want to tell you, you have to develop a clinical eye. I spent months and years with all the best homeopaths in the world. I used to sit next to them and see how they watch cases. And I used to then develop my eye according to their eye. People who sit with me in my clinic, they also start seeing how I observe cases. Unfortunately, I don't have a clinic where I can keep all 300 people in my clinic and make you see what I, what I do, how I see. But I try to give you a little idea how I do it. So developing clinical eye. What all things we need to observe in acute? What are the changes you need to observe? We need to, one of the favorite things in acutes that I observe at is the tongue. You know, there is a beautiful book. It's called as Tongue That Never Lies. Any idea who has written the book? It's written by Prakash Vakil. I know you only remember Hips That Never Lies, but Tongue That Never Lies is tremendously a better book than even the song. And don't lie. I know some of you may disagree. Anyways, so what are the things you want to observe? The tongue, very important. Teeth, what, what to observe in teeth? Facial gestures in the acute. Examination, examination of palms, soles, nails, ears, pupil, cornea, hair, all these things I'm observing. And it is not like I'm taking a binocular and seeing one, one thing. It's at one shot. When you see, you, you see there is something comorbid here. So I'm going to develop this clinical idea how to observe this. So I want to tell you, and before I start, I want you all to thank my team, Dr. Yash and Dr. Juhi, who have helped me prepare this presentation. So maybe all of you could thank them if you find this talk interesting. So the first thing, what to observe in a tongue. So I'm going to give you a little bit of clinical. I'm going to show you for the first time in homeopathy. What are the different tongues that you can see? And not just that, but how to analyze that in homeopathy. Okay, so let's see. First, pointed tongue. You see this tongue here? It's, it's, it's a kind of a tongue way which is pointed at the corner. You know which remedy? Simisifuga. And I'm not, I, I, I want to tell you this is all from authentic data. Okay, Simisifuga, Boric Materia Medica, stomach, uh, let's see, tongue pointed. Okay, simisifuga, okay, pointed tongue. This is something you have to learn, pointed tongue. So when I see a case of rheumatism, and if I see this kind of pointed tongue and all the other symptoms, I think about simis. Posteriorly coated tongue, very often in cases of tonsillitis, I see posteriorly coated. Main remedy, Merck IF. And there are many remedies, but I'm giving you the clinically important ones. What I'm trying to teach you today is very clinical. If you learn this, you are going to succeed in treating many acutes. Cracks in all direction. Fluoric acid. 
nitric acid we know but magnesium muriaticum warnest tongue this is warnest you can see this as if the whole papilla is totally gone this is pyrogen just looking at this i start with pyrogen in many cases where patients are admitted in the hospital due to infection when i see this tongue i don't have to even check the pulse i stay pyrogen 1m 6 hourly i am going to teach you the real clinical stuff today by which you are going to master acute cancer of the tongue calicinatum indented yellow tongue you can see the indentation of the teeth hydrastis podophyllum chelidonium map tongue there are many remedies here natrum your taraxacum another important remedy clean tongue totally clean ipecac digitalis uh, sina which remedy blue color tongue any idea gymnoclodus very important remedy for rheumatism this is very important white fur tongue when i see a white tongue like this not very coated because it's very coated it is antimony crude slightly coated it is calimuriatic psoriasis of the tongue castor require it's remedy prepared from horses or ring of the of the tongue any idea sanicula painful pimple at tip of the tongue can you see this i'm trying to teach you clinical you know you can just see the tongue and confirm mouth suppuration abscess of the tongue afte at the tip bryonia lachesis hamamelis afte with bleeding easily borax borax also has a yellowish coating trembling tongue you know you show your tongue and trembling in cases of fever straight away gelsemium whenever you check gelsemium tongue and they remove the tongue it will it will tremble like that lachesis is also but in acute gelsemium bluish black tongue buffo and plumbum red tongue with edges which are white sepia so interesting if you if you really like my talk today you have to thank yash and juhi okay because they have helped me i'm i'm i just talk but a lot of things are helped by them and i like to have gratitude gratitude is the most important thing in life and that's why i'm where i am caries necrosis of the tongue remember murk cor murk proto rubrum velvety tongue benzoic acid coldness of the tongue with collapse carbo wedge condyloma on the tongue remember aurum muriaticum remember aurum muriaticum this is very important huh? this aurum salt is very important with this tongue especially aurum mur it's a psychotic aurum cracks in the center top remedy mezerium we never think about mezerium also rue stalks and rue venata black fissures in the tongue lycopodium acha bleeding with cracks aurum trophyllum creamy tongue indol antim crude totally dark black tongue muriatic acid remember in case of typhoid dark tongue which has gangrenous state opalis tongue opium ichymosis in the tongue you can see the small petechiae chionanthus okay very important for sick headaches enlarged tongue with papillae at the tip can you see this arsenic eruption vesicle in the center i hope you can see this this is typical for baraita cup beautiful beautiful thank you yash for this amazing amazing work that you have done ha huh? mouth flabby tongue and heart complaint see now we are connecting tongue to cardiac pathology lycopus virginica also belongs to labiata family lot of excitement whenever there is heart and thyroid think about lycopus green tongue capsicum mm -hmm. leathery hard tongue orange color tongue lachesis and chocolate chocolate is a remedy at some point dr pratik is going to show you this case of chocolate he is a master of giving chocolate remedy purple tongue very very important kali chlor kali chlor very important for nephritis during pregnancy cherry like tongue cherry huh? kali ka also cherry like tongue ossimum sanctum red papilla dark tongue belladonna fiery red tongue apis okay strawberry tongue when it remedies fragaria but very important also streptococcinum See, this is clinical materia medica, my friend. This is something you will not see in many books. What I am showing you is clinical homeopathy. This is with not just my experience. I am sharing you experience of homeopaths for last hundred years. You will never learn anything like that before. Then what you can learn? This this is clinical stuff. Ye seekho ab. If you learn this, you will be at a different level altogether. Okay, let's go ahead. What's under the tongue? Like ranula. Remember thuja. Acha. atrophy of the tongue tongue is totally worn out muriatic acid so this was about different types of tongue i explained you about 45 different tongues 45 different types of tongue so i was telling you about tongues now now not just at tongues you know 
you have to also look at look at what I like to call as the facial expressions and gestures in our cubes. And there are many more tongues, you know, I could take just a full one day, six hour seminar on how to observe tongues. Just tongues, I will show you about 500 different types of tongues in homeopathy. I could teach that. It, it would be amazing. But the problem is that I have less time and I have to teach you a lot of things, including expressions. So expressions of patients, expressions while talking, making too many gestures, very animated talks, typical, typical for sulfur patient. Sulfur will make a lot of gestures. Also, you will see that with many animal remedies huh? and remedies belonging to lily family and hyoscyamus. Lot of gestures. Okay. While talking, many gestures with head like this. You ask them, how are you? I am okay. Okay. What do you like to eat? I like banana. So too many gestures. Gestures awkward with hand. Constantly making gestures with hand. Huh? Capsicum. Very important remedy. Capsicum. Silica. Why silica here? Because that's due to the nervousness. You have to connect the expression to deeper experience. Constantly while talking, make gestures like that with the hand. Achha? Achha? Beating himself up. Stramonium. Hyosamus. This is Solanisi rubric. Make childish gestures while talking. Anacardium. Claps hand, see, ammonium, but also agaricos. I had a very interesting case which to just clap. I give agaricus. Clawing of hands. Huh? Stramonium, falcopy. Constantly uh, the child is putting fingers in the hand. Achha? Chamomilla, calcarea, heliborus, apicac, natrum, muriaticum, silica. Fist, constantly fists. He does like that. Achha? I will do this. Viratrum, viratrum also a lot of ego. Constantly wants to grasp when he's in anger. Stramonium. This this kind of rage is something that you'll see with a lot of solanacy patients. Constantly touches genitals. Many, many remedies. Zincum, very important. Also tuberculinum in children's cases. Constantly grasps head. Arre, yaar. Arre, yaar. Okay. This is heliborus. Constantly plays with the hair. This is theridion and chocolate. Picks bed clothes in delirium. Iosimus. With hydrocephalus, Artemisia vulgaris, compositive family, constantly picks one particular place. This is Aram Trophylum, okay? Also Hyosamus, Roostox. Constantly plays with buttons, huh? buttons of the cloth. This is Moscus. Constantly playing with hair. I told you this is Theridion chocolate. Rubbing the face. Alumina. This is because they feel as if there's a fried egg sensation on, on the face. Cobweb sensation. Borax. Stamps feet. You know, while talking, they will just stamp the feet. Children especially. This is Solanacea and Viratrum. This is all Kent repertory. This, this is clinical. This is often you'll see in the acutes. Stroking their hair, Theridion chocolate. Frown, you know. Very often you go to see a patient of pneumonia, but they have this kind of frown. Directly you can start with Lycopodium. But frown, constantly frowning in brain pathologies. Patient has brain pathology. Patient has hydrocephalus. And patient is frown. Then think of Heliborus. Stramonium also. Hiding, this we know. We know Baraitaka, but very important remedy, Meli Lotus. I am trying to teach you clinical homeopathy. Just by observing how to pick up. I know one hour is very less, but I want to teach you how to observe, how to develop that eye. That eye that will help you cure many, many sufferings. That will take you from being an average homeopath to a person of a very, very high standard who can help people. Desire to hide in old people. Opium. We normally think Baraitaka, but it is opium. Are you getting an idea? Are our participants getting an idea, Prati? Say, Say yes. something. Yes, they are getting it. They are getting an idea. Is this useful seeing this kind of observations? Are you understanding? Yes, but the only complaint is little bit. They are asking to go little slow. <laughs> slow. Hides one face and sees through these kind of fingers. This is typical, typical classical symptom of right cup. Constant laughing. This is typically coffee or crude. In acutes, constant laughing. Then facial expressions. It's very, very important, huh? Seeing facial expressions in patients. Sometimes the hair. Suddenly, pay, hair are normal, but since the acute problems have started, hair becomes curly. Mesarium. Interesting. In, in, in repertory, there is only mesarium, but there's a lot of addition. LSD has also been added. Hair fall and dryness of the hair. Suddenly, many remedies here. Sorinum, top remedy. Calica, phosphoric acid, especially after acute illness. Okay, one question. Tells that I had very bad COVID virus, COVID infection. And from 
from that time onwards i have a lot of hair fall what remedy will you give covid infection is over he was positive now is negative but from that time onwards lot of hair fall what remedy will you give and why dekho pratik see what they are answering helium carbovage acid fos arsenic natrium mm. nur picric acid mm. acid fos fluoric acid selenium thallium sorina china a top remedy top remedy like you most of you have said is is thallium you can see this let's see alopecia after acute exhausting disease no but there is one more remedy what's the remedy hair fall alopecia especially sudden or uh, sudden in children we think what lot of remedies baraita kaap calcarea fos mancinella yes very important remedy. but very important remedy arundo arundo also very important in acute allergies so in acute allergies in children with this think about arundo suddenly development of fluffy hair so i want to tell you if someone has a curly hair from childhood that is not mesarium when the hair is normal and suddenly become curly in a acute illness that is mesarium try to understand you know many homeopaths feel that any curly hair is mesarium this is where our homeopaths are a little crazy they are not scientific and that's why i absolutely hate some of the people who talk nonsensical stuff i think we have to be from today's times flattened hair sud- without 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 hair uh, flattening okay this is without hair flattening but suddenly your hair become flattened out of nowhere argentum sulf sudden graying of hair very important remedy lepromenum hard hair hair becomes very hard thuya this bitten lusterless hair just very very dry many many nose nodes here you can see sorina medorina tuberculum you should read my book on materia medica of sarcoids and nose nodes it's a book it took me i wrote that book actually in two months but i used the remedies from there so much so much in my practice with brilliant result my practice changed actually after using a lot of nose oils many many cases opened up and that's why dr pratik i want to request you if you can keep a series of nose oils just every nose oil we should teach in detail can you plan a series of nose oils for our participants mm-hmm. dr patrick yeah, i think if people wants that and if people write to us if there is a demand then definitely we'll go for that after rare remedy series we need one on just on nose oils just on nose oils okay let's go ahead split hair zincum borax sticking of hair hmm? this many skin remedies here graphite is mesarium violet tricolor interesting picture ah uh, dr pratik hair growing from ear yes <laughs> this is typical for thuja if you see this and if you see more indication you can just close your eyes and give thuja very psychotic but doesn't mean only thuja it could be other psychotic remedies like medorine like psychotic compound lord of hair in upper lip in women we know medorine but very important remedy also sarcoid corticosterone many many young children have lot of hair on back this is a very important indication for me to give tuberculosis okay and carcinosis remember this unusual parts hair we always know thuja but remember oleum jack sle very very hairy children very very hairy children remember carcinosin masculine hair in women too much too much of masculine hair remember this hormones corticosterone and also remember psychotic compound and remember oleum jack sle just the lips black lips in typhoid chloralum bleeding lips which remedy you find this out for me blue lips in during chill this is china sulf manianthus bluish dark lips strychninum this also due to cyanosis or lung pathology burnt lips hydrastis and arsenic syphilitic remedies chapped lips this is chapped if you can see here ha uh, alumina calcarea ka bryonia you know alumina and bryonia are relationship with each other cracks in the lips cracks in the center of the lips remember mesarium if you see center middle a uh, middle middle crack in the upper and lower just close your eyes and give mesarium i have a case like that everted lip many remedies remember baraita kaap gangrene of the lip greasy lips ammonium muriaticum ammonium muriaticum also get dreams of water very often licks lips so there are patient who constantly licks their lips who does that find out this is a homework for you mottled lips cactus 
so you saw the tongue you saw the facial expression you, you saw the gestures you saw the lips now we'll go to the teeth i'm showing you clinical homeopathy my friends just how to see and just this is it this is what i want you to learn just just by watching how to prescribe in my very busy opd i want to tell you sometimes on saturday i see so many cases i don't have time to breathe so i sometimes very often just observe and tell given this remedy very often hollow of the teeth is carried staphylococcus mercury roots are carried this is often you can see the roots mesarium thuya chalky teeth you can see this kind of chalky teeth this is calcarea flur but sometimes medorhinum helps are you getting an idea dark teeth china floric acid remember one very interesting remedy that we are using natrum floricum all these remedies you want to know about these remedies write to dr pratik he has a homeopathic pharmacy where he keeps all these rare remedies dr pratik do you have this kind of rare remedies with you many of them not all but many of them yes okay so if someone wants to buy these remedies you can help them yes definitely <clears throat> dr pratik is connected to many many different pharmacies so whenever you need a remedy one stop homeopathic hub pratik jain any kind of problems with this kind of remedies contact pratik jain dirty but only homeopathy sorry but only things related to homeopathy not other yeah, yeah. totally homeopathy yes we only live and stay with homeopathy dirty teeth remember aurum muriaticum natronatum dwarfed dwarfed teeth sifilinum tuberculina irregular formation of the teeth this is a very important indication for sifilinum when you see these kind of teeth this is sifilinum forget everything else start with sifilinum nails sometimes nails can help you constantly biting of nails remember it's carcinosin and medorhinum suppurations in the nail many remedies tucrem marum varum one more remedy which i use very often is dioscoria and when nothing improves remember the remedy myristica almond shaped nail see you have to you have to learn to pick up this kind of clinical observations this is clinical homeopathy this is what i learned in west bengal learning from different different homeopaths just this to observe and prescribe so that's what i did i learned so many techniques that now i can kind of connect all the techniques together and that's what i want you to almond shape basilinum interesting atrophy of the nails you can see this type of nails this is typical silica bluish nails in chills natrum muriaticum arsenic brittle nails easily brokeable which remedy common remedies calcarea silica callosities under the nail horny this is antimony crude corrugated nails this is often for me thuja this is very important see this nail don't forget this forever remember this cracks in the nail crumbling of nail alumina butyric acid dryness of nails in growing toenail in children this is silica high potency softening of nails okay tell me which remedy clubbing of nails is written by boric let's see some let's see some answers dr pratik help me clubbing okay. of nails which remedy in boric it is written dekho remember yeah. only one remedy only one remedy chloroceres boric multi remedica dekhiye clubbing of fingers this is clinical homeopathy and that's why chloroceres is very important for cardiac and lung connected pathologies I want you to learn this clinical homeopathy. Yes, you go up. Get ready, my friends. Get ready. Next one two years are going to be very important for homeopathy. Did most of them get lorosiris? Uh, yes, few of them they have give, suggested lorosiris. So many, so many, so many, so many things. Sometimes just facial expressions, you know. For example, reddish swelling. This is the rosy hue of apis. This is the swelling of the upper eyelid of cat hub. this is the purplish hue of tarantula cubensis so many i want to show you so much so much so much more very often when people send me cases when i see in my clinic when i see this this is tarantula cubensis i don't even ask too many question this this tarantula cubensis this i want you to imprint in your brain this is something that cannot come after reading you have to sit with me in my clinic you can observe 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 kitna bhi aap padhoge nahi baat bane uske liye you have to observe so there is a technique there is a there is a time of learning there is a kind of reading and then there is a time of training with masters and that's what i want dr pratik to do dr pratik i want you to create some kind of workshops after the lockdown where people can come and train can you do something like that keep some kind of 3 4 days workshops where people can come sit learn from cases can you do something like that 
yeah we can do a small workshop with uh, minimum people not maybe more 50 30 50 something like that we can do we need this kind of workshop because after learning all these webinars and everything they will be ready to sit with us and watch our cases people are threatening only say yes <laughs> what what are you saying people are writing that you should only say yes <laughs> what do you mean by you should only say yes with whatever suggestions you are giving <laughs> i don't have any other option i have to say yes <laughs> but really this will be so useful you plan it no bahut yes, seekhne milega yeah. people will learn a lot this kind of workshop will you know even our international friends you know from france your brazil london wherever they are they could come for four five days sit with me in my clinic see cases learn and go back maybe for a week you create such kind of workshops they will learn a lot yes yeah, definitely see i am i am just doing my work everything all this is arranged by dr pratik so don't don't even ask me if you want any kind of workshops which topic you just connect dr pratik okay so i'm going to finish by a very interesting case that i treated you know i want all of you to not be routine not to be routine i want you to be a little hatke little different i want you to have a voice of your own i want you to have a thinking of your own but for all of that you need to master basics once you master basics then you can play with the thing it's an art it's an art and i want to tell you i didn't look left i didn't look right i didn't see at any kind of temptations around me for last 10 years i focused my entire life on homeopathy just on learning or kuch bhi nahi sachi this this that's it and now i am seeing the fruits i can now you know it's 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 very artistic it's like second breathing for me you know how you breathe that's the way i live homeopathy finally it's all about are you ready to sacrifice that's the question i ask every person who comes to learn from me and i meet a lot of people they tell me i want to come i want you are my this everything i ask them you want to be the best are you ready to sacrifice if you are 